intro. Coding can make you a lot of money, even if you aren't going to become a software engineer. Now, let me explain. The tech world is constantly growing, evolving, and becoming more and more essential in our daily lives. Websites, apps, the internet of things touches nearly every area of our lives, so it's no wonder that tech skills and coding continues to become more and more in demand. Coding skills are highly in demand right now, not only for software developers or software engineers, but for a variety of roles that maybe touch coding here and there, need to have an understanding of coding. It really hits more roles than we realize. In the information age, it can be hard to keep up with just how quickly tech is evolving and growing. Coding is one of those things that if you have it on your resume that you can do or understand, even if you aren't going for a software developer role, it will really set you apart and help your career, whether it be salary negotiations, whether it be getting a promotion, etc. It can really financially set you apart. First, it's important to note that coding skills are at an all-time high for demand. And it's no wonder, considering the digital world really encompasses and touches every single industry. And here are just a few examples of that. When we think of online banking, it is quickly becoming the primary way in which the younger generations are managing their finances, and the industry is rapidly evolving as a result. A similar shift is happening in education, especially since the pandemic, which really accelerated this forward. When you think of online learning, e-learning, whether now you are a high school student, elementary student, all the way up to university and beyond, Prior, I would say, to the pandemic, yes, there was some online resources, but it wasn't near as exponential and so many opportunities for online learning as there is today. Which is really cool as a side note if you think about it, that you could be in India and taking a course from Harvard, or you could be in Canada and taking a course that was produced in Spain. It's pretty incredible. And then we could go into the design industry. Think of uh, designers, whether it be for web designers, whether it be for graphic designers, game designers, all these designers. No, their primary thing necessarily isn't coding, but having an understanding of coding is so essential to a lot of these roles, especially when you are designing something that's digital, being able to speak to developers, understand if this is possible. Those skills will really set you apart from everyone else. Essentially, apps, websites, technology as a whole is really the backbone of society today and whether we like to admit it or not, it's a huge part of our future that we are building. So coding skills not only are very in demand today, but they will continue to become more and more in demand in the future. Second, the earning potential is very high as well, whether it be developers, software engineers, business analysts, really anyone who has worked with code has the potential to earn in the six figures, I would say even high six figures, depending on the company and experience. So the skill really is vital in nowadays that employers will pay a premium for people who have this skill, even if it's not directly for developers, but people who understand code, understand the possibilities of it, what it can build. And of course, as I mentioned, based on your experience and area of expertise, the income and the salary will only continue to grow as you continue to grow with the industry. In addition to being a high demand skill, coding is no longer just used for software developers. And I kind of touched on this in another point I made, but coding is something that nowadays really touches so many fields within, or so many jobs within the tech industry. Really, no matter what you want to pursue with your career or what areas you want to specialize in, there is something that coding can help you with. Even if you're not using it in the day to day, just understanding the possibilities that code has to to really change and shape the future, even if you are, say, a product manager or business analyst, when you're speaking to developers or speaking to stakeholders and you understand what code is, even just the basics. I'm not saying that you have to be this whiz kid coder in order to learn code, but even if you're not going to use it in your everyday, there definitely is a reason to still learn it. Not to mention, having coding skills or knowledge of coding can really help you within your job search. Uh, even if it's, once again, not for a developer-related job, when you say you know how to code, when you say you understand the technology, that really sets you apart from the crowd. There are many ways that coding can help you in your specific role, even if it doesn't necessarily directly involve coding. If you're working alongside developers or programmers, understanding their role can help facilitate stronger communication, really visualizing the product, understanding the product life cycle in a much more clearer sense. Coding knowledge will also help you understand other areas of the tech industry. When I learned how to code, one of the things that really, really opened up for me was understanding how Every, all the kind of moving parts work together, tech as a whole, rather than just understanding the finished product, but understanding the work that it took to get there. The, it's really just code. You know, when you think of social media sites, for example, before I learned how to code, I think, how do these people become viral? Like, are there people at Facebook or Instagram or whatever just like pushing these accounts? No, it's simply an algorithm and sometimes your content gets sucked up in it and just 
pushed out to more people and sometimes it doesn't. But it's as simple as algorithms controlling a lot of people's content and futures and we won't get into that because I can get tricky fast. But moral of the story is when you start understanding just how much code impacts our day-to-day -day lives, it really brings you to think about things in a different light. And let's not forget about the emotional side. I think coding is one of those skills that really helps you take out the I don't want to say take out the emotion, but let's 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 word it this way. It doesn't take out the emotion, but it brings in a new perspective, meaning you really start thinking of things from a logical sense. And that's really helped me financially when it comes to investing. Thinking about things from a, a logical standpoint versus an emotional standpoint of, oh, I really don't want to sell this stock. I've had it for so long, I'm holding on to it, like I feel attached to it, or anything like that, but rather looking at different things with investing or different financial things from a logical standpoint, from a point of, does this make sense? From looking at the bigger picture and then breaking it down into smaller pieces. Coding skills also help with self-sufficiency and independence. Let's say, for example, you have a great new idea for an app. No longer do you have to rely on others to build it for you. You can go and build it yourself. Or even if you want to get others to build it for you, you know if you're going to be paying a little too much or paying just the right amount, you have a better understanding of how long it should take, what the workflow will entail. And even if you're conveying your idea to other developers, you will be able to speak the speak, talk the talk, whatever that saying is. And I think another example that coding can really help you become more self-sufficient is if you're say building a portfolio and this goes back to even if you're not just a software developer but if you want to build a portfolio as a designer or as a product manager whatever the case may need be I think you need a portfolio especially when you're starting out for really any job in tech and when I say a portfolio this can really vary based on just a nice about me contact page you know things that you have done public speaking events you've done if you're doing more of that kind of role Portfolio can really vary, it doesn't have to be just project based, but you are able to, even if it's just through, you know, a, a CMS or something like that, customize your portfolio, make it unique, all because you know how to code, the basics of coding. So as you can see, coding, there's so much more to it than just being a software developer. And when I say just a software developer, software development is amazing. I've been a software developer for five years and the opportunities that have come my way through it are just so unique but more than that even more than that it really is about what coding has taught me the way i think now the way i solve problems the way i view the world honestly i break things down before i used to be so i'd get so frustrated so quickly and so overwhelmed so quickly because i wouldn't take the time to just step back look at the bigger picture and then break it down and coding really taught me that so i think at the end of the day if it teaches you anything it's really how do you work your logic thinking skills, your logical thinking muscles, and that will be applied throughout your life. Finally, it's really important to note that learning to code is accessible nowadays. With the internet at our fingertips, anyone can learn how to code. And don't mistake that for me saying coding is easy to learn. No, I'm not saying that. But I am saying that if you have a computer, you have access to the internet, you can learn how to code. And gone are the days where these big tech companies are requiring CS degrees or university degrees of anything really, but rather being able to show your skill sets. I know a ton of the big tech companies many years back actually took out the requirement of having a CS degree. And now it's either CS degree or relevant experience, which experience in the tech industry, that's a whole other topic we're not going to get into in this video. But the point of the matter is, Anyone can learn how to code as long as you have access to the internet. You know, there's so many different free courses out there. One of my favorites that I talk about a lot is Free Code Camp. It's one of the resources I learned or started to learn how to code on, and it's completely free. Udemy has great courses. YouTube has great courses. The list goes on. And another thing about learning how to code is it doesn't have to be a huge financial commitment. If you are someone who is self teaching yourself, teaching yourself, how to code. You don't need to go and spend thousands and thousands of dollars to get a degree or even go to a coding bootcamp. You're able to focus and be committed to the practice. You can learn how to code right from your living room. And that's one of the reasons I think that it's becoming expected to have at least the bare, bare bones of coding knowledge for many jobs other than software developers because it's so easy to learn nowadays through all these resources that if you are able to pick up the basics of code, it will really, I think this is my third time saying this in this video, set you apart from the crowd, but it's so true. It will really set you apart from the crowd. You can negotiate for more money on your job. You can do more side hustles, build your own projects. The list goes on. It's so much more 
than just about being a software developer, that coding will elevate you in your career. Learning to code will undoubtedly open up a variety of doors for you in a tech industry. When it comes to negotiations, jobs, standing up from the crowd, it can really give you a lot of freedom when it comes to finances as to really making decisions based on logic, not emotion. When it comes to being able to negotiate a higher salary because you know coding or understand tech more so. Not saying once again you have to become a coding whiz, but having that aspect, having that skill on your resume will really set you apart. And not to mention, you have the choice of if you want to work for someone else, if you want to work for yourself, if you want to hire other developers to work for you, it really opens up so many doors for what you want to do, especially if you're someone who has that entrepreneur spirit and maybe wants to work for a company but freelance or work for a company and start your own company on the side. There's so many opportunities. All in all, learning how to code, learning the basics even of coding is one of the best financial decisions that I personally have made and I really wanted to make this video to share with you my thoughts around it because I think a lot of people still are stuck in thinking coding equates to software engineering. Yes, of course it does, in one small aspect, but there's so much more to it than just that and can really help boost your financial situation if you utilize the tools correctly. Thank you all for watching this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech coding and career content. And I will see you all soon. Thanks everyone.